Minesweeper is a single-player puzzle video game. The objective of the game is to clear a rectangular board containing hidden mines or bombs without detonating any of them, with help from clues about the number of neighboring mines in each field. The game originates from the 1960s, and has been written for many computing platforms in use today. It has many variations and offshoots. Topic. Overview The player is initially presented with a grid of indifferentiated squares. Some randomly selected squares, unknown to the player, are designated to contain mines. Typically, the size of the grid and the number of mines are set in advance by the user, either by entering the numbers or selecting from defined skill levels, depending on the implementations. In the Microsoft variant, this is limited to 30 times 24 with 667 mines. The game is played by revealing squares of the grid by clicking or otherwise indicating each square. If a square containing a mine is revealed, the player loses the game. If no mine is revealed, a digit is instead displayed in the square, indicating how many adjacent squares contain mines. If no mines are adjacent, the square becomes blank, and all adjacent squares will be recursively revealed. The player uses this information to deduce the contents of other squares, and may either safely reveal each square or mark the square as containing a mine. In some versions, a question mark may be placed in an unrevealed square to serve as an aid to logical deduction. Implementations may also allow players to quickly clear around a revealed square once the correct number of mines have been flagged around it. The game is won when all mine-free squares are revealed, because all mines have been located. Some versions of Minesweeper will set up the board by never placing a mine on the first square revealed. Minesweeper for versions of Windows protects the first square revealed. In Windows 7, players may elect to replay a board, in which case the first square may no longer be protected. Topic: History. Minesweeper has its origins in the earliest mainframe games of the 1960s and 1970s. The earliest ancestor of Minesweeper was Jeremac Ratliff's Cube. The basic gameplay style became a popular segment of the puzzle game genre during the 1980s, with such titles as Mindout Quicksilva, 1983, Yomp Virgin Interactive, 1983, and Cube. Cube was succeeded by Relentless Logic or R Logic for short, by Conway, Hong, and Smith, available for MS DOS as early as 1985. The player took the role of a private in the United States Marine Corps, delivering an important message to the U.S. Command Center. R Logic had greater similarity to Minesweeper than to Cube in concept, but a number of differences exist. In R Logic, the player must navigate through the minefield, from the top left right angled corner to the bottom right angled corner, the command center. It is not necessary to clear all non mine squares. Also, there is no mechanism for marking mines or counting the number of mines found. The number of steps taken is counted. Although no high score functionality is included, players could attempt to beat their personal best score for a given number of mines. Unlike Minesweeper, the size of the minefield is fixed. However, the player may still specify the number of mines. Because the player must navigate through the minefield, it is sometimes impossible to win. Namely, when the mines block all possible paths, the gameplay mechanics of Minesweeper are included in a variety of other software titles, including the mini-game Vinesweeper implemented into the MMORPG RuneScape. In this iteration, written by Jagex developer Danny J, the Minesweeper gameplay is given a large multiplayer aspect and the game board adopts a continually resetting timer. This allows for a never-ending game of Minesweeper where the skill is assessed in points rather than game completion. The PC game Mole Control, developed by Remode, in this game, the Minesweeper mechanic is integrated into a puzzle adventure game based in a village called Molar Creek, which has been overrun with exploding moles. You play the local inventor's assistant, who is tasked with clearing the village of exploding moles, and you can also take part in the Molar Creek annual mole control competition in a time attack mode. Topic. Distribution and variants Versions of Minesweeper are frequently bundled with operating systems and GUIs, including Minesweeper for OS, 2, Minesweeper in Windows, K-Mines in KDE, Unix-like OSes, Nomine in GNOME and Minehunt in Palm OS. 
Many clones can be found on the Internet. Variants of the basic game generally have differently shaped minefields, in either two and three dimensions, and may have more than one mine per cell. For example, X11 based X bomb adds triangular and hexagonal grids, and Professional Minesweeper for Windows includes these and others. There are also variants for more than one player, in which the players compete against each other. Minrube is a turn based two player version of Minesweeper introduced in Telegram. In this game, the first player who finds more than half of the mines in the board wins the game. By finding a mine, a player is also rewarded another turn. The HP 48G graphing calculator includes a variation on the theme called Minehunt, where the player has to move safely from one corner of the playfield to the other. The only clues given are how many mines are in the squares surrounding the player's current position. The Voltorb flip game in the non Japanese releases of Pokémon HeartGold and SoulSilver is a variation of Minesweeper and Picross. A logic puzzle variant of Minesweeper, suitable for playing on paper, starts with some squares already revealed. The player cannot reveal any more squares, but must instead mark the remaining mines correctly. Unlike the usual form of Minesweeper, these puzzles usually have a unique solution. These puzzles appeared under the name, Tentezu, Japanese for a star map, in Southwest Airlines magazine Spirit in 2008-2009. In the game Minecraft, the 2015 April Fools, the Love and Hugs update, added, Minescreeper. It is a near-exact copy of Minesweeper, except, instead of avoiding the mines, the player must avoid hidden creepers. Computational complexity In 2000, Richard Kay published a proof that it is NP-complete to determine whether a given grid of uncovered, correctly flagged, and unknown squares, the labels of the foremost also given, has an arrangement of mines for which it is possible within the rules of the game. The argument is constructive, a method to quickly convert any Boolean circuit into such a grid that is possible if and only if the circuit is satisfiable. Membership in NP is established by using the arrangement of mines as a certificate. If, however, a Minesweeper board is already guaranteed to be consistent, solving it is not known to be NP-complete, but it has been proven to be co-NP-complete. K also proved that Infinite Minesweeper is Turing-complete. See also Board puzzles with algebra of binary variables <laughs> Notes <laughs>